Hello guys, this is Cell Tools. Today I'm going to show you how to make perfect square. So I had a question from one of the viewers how to draw a perfect square for pattern making and I thought it was quite interesting to show you um, the solution for the problem. Yeah, so the making perfect square, what I mean perfect is um, having a perpendicular on four of the each corner and have a, having a symmetry and parallel lines on both sides. And uh, you can also make a perfect square uh, with a grid on a cutting board. You can you can also make with the square that you have square. What I mean is have like such a square that is made to be a right angle, and uh, this could be work. Though both methods is okay. You can achieve a fairly square uh, with that technique, but um, it's not so much of accuracy that would uh, would give you uh, pleasant uh, leather working because once you have this intolerances in your square you will leave any um, like empty or it's too less of leather it's more of leather it can be a problem in the making process so you need to have a that straight on uh, a good measurement square so that you don't end up with a failed project so speaking of tolerances this square is machinist square so that's why it has this side on, on the side and all of the squares or any measurement um, tools, they come with a grading system. This is class 2. Uh, it's, um, it, you can also call it grade 2 with the DIN standard. And this is okay for any of um, knife making or anything that has, doesn't have to be super tolerant. Uh, if you are making a spacecraft part or aircraft part with this square, it will be a disaster. This will be out of two way out of um, tolerances making. Uh, those high precision parts, but this is okay for leather working and this is okay for metal working as well. And I've seen a lot of people trying to make perfect, make perfect square laying down this ruler like this, draw a line, which is, will be a perfect square, and then they will turn over the ruler like this, and then they draw a perfect square like this, which is a very good approach. It's some, some people get fairly good um, results from it but for me I had a terrible experience doing this because this misalignment even slight misalignment creates a different um, non-parallel sides on both sides so it will end up with uh, some kind of weird um, effect going on later on in the making process so I really don't want to end up like that so what I do is I try to do this technique that is already you guys know uh, you can fold the paper and you can just make a perfect square from it. Yeah, so this is just a piece of copy paper. There's some writings on it, but doesn't matter. And you can also use this pizza box. Yeah. Okay, on the flip side, there's a fresh paper, fairly thick paper that you can use your scratch all to. So uh, this pizza box material is not the best, best material for pattern making, but it is a fairly good material that you, where you can start on. There, there is a special paper that's uh, that's for the pattern making as well. But um, this is I will just try to demonstrate how to do this method with um, this office used paper, so that you can practice on your real paper. Um, so, so, as you have a paper, doesn't matter. Uh, how you which side you use? You can use both side, white side as well. Try to fold it in half, and you don't necessarily have to go for super accuracy folding, like trying to match up the corner and stuff. I'll, I'll just intentionally try to make it, like, not correct folding, but just uh, folding. Okay, so you fold it, paper like this. Try to crease a very good line. Yeah. Okay. And you fold it like this again. Okay. Now you have folded two lines. And then what you can do is you can think about how you want to measure your um, how to what size you want to draw for your square. So I want to draw, let's say, uh, uh, 10, let's say, 20 by 10, let's say, 20 by 10, 
okay, centimeters, I mean. So what I will do is I'll try to measure. So 10 would be half would be 50, so I'll do the 50. And from this line, I'll make 10. Yeah. So it's be it will be here. So what I will do is I'll just penetrate with the O. And then I will have holes on both sides. You see here a hole, and you see a hole here. Okay. Now, as I fold it like this again, I can penetrate on both sides. Like this. And then you have a hole here. So, if you unfold it now, if you measure this, it'll be a 20, mm -hmm. and this will be a 10. So, if you're using thick paper, I know that folding it two times right away wouldn't uh, so easy that it will create another intolerances, so inaccuracy. So, what you can do is you fold it and just try to make a hole on, on one side yeah? and then open it and then fold it like this and then make a hole on both sides like this and that will create the same pattern so now you will draw you will connect these four Like this. So obviously, if you make a smaller hole, not a big hole, it will has a have, will have a more accuracy. But this is still very good. So because of the intentional misfolding that I did uh, from the beginning, this square is not that center from the paper. But the parallel, how parallel they are, and the square, how they are squared, are perfect, nearly perfect. Yeah, because of this folding technique. So. Um, the, how I explain this is quite interesting is that uh, because of the fold that we made, this will create one uh, hole and if you fold it, unfold it, it will create a very straight line which is very perpendicular to this folding line because you have folded it. And the other side also, if you see, yeah, if you make a hole, it will be a straight line from from these sides and then also it will be perpendicular from the line because you folded it. So folding makes two things. It makes same length and straight on both sides and also perpendicular. So simple folding technique like this will just give you the, the correct accuracy not just with the tool that you're trying to draw and you're, you're not using any of the background you're using, using the uh, folding as a measurement to, to means of um, expanding from the line in such a case yeah so it's quite interesting technique and there you have it you have a perfect square in front of you like this with a just a simple oval pen and a ruler yeah so that's it so this is how you want to make a perfect square i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i'll see you guys next video bye bye